Hello all my CEO babes, we are on day three of 100 days of YouTube. If you don't know who I am already, my name is Tina. I'm an online business coach and I help online coaches scale to 5K in their coaching business without a large audience, email list, and paid ads. But more importantly, we are here to give you the value, the 411, the details on how to really convert the fastest way to convert leads into buyers into your coaching business. So if this is something that you're like, oh, I, I want to figure out how I have all these leads, I have all these people, but how do I convert them into actual sales? Or maybe you're the individual who is on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, whatever social media platform. And you're like, Tina, I have followers, but they're not buying. Hmm. So, so what, what can I do, Tina? Like you're, you're my YouTube business coach. What can I do? Well, the first thing that I'm going to let you know is that followers don't always equate to buyers. It's, it's not always that every follower that you're going to get is going to turn to a buyer, but a follower may be a potential lead that will turn into a buyer, right? So the thing is, is that what you need to do, the fastest way for you to transition that individual from A to B is to have a conversation with them. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and so that may be like, Tina, well, I mean, yeah, I, I thought about having a conversation with them, but I don't know what to say. So with that being said, what you need to do, honestly, if an individual is following you, that is a great opportunity to introduce yourself, especially when it comes to social media, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, et cetera, et cetera, right? Like, really think about it. When an individual decides to be your friend or decides to follow your journey on social media, introduce yourself. Go ahead and say, hey, so-and-so, um, I appreciate the follow and appreciate you connecting me with me. What led you to connect with me, right? There you go. There's your segue to start that conversation and turn them into a buyer. So why are conversations so important when it comes to convert conversion and converting leads into buyers the reason why that is so important throughout the entire sales process is because you are really taking a lead from a cold warm to hot right so there are three types of leads there are cold leads there are warm leads and then there are hot leads cold leads are the individuals who say for example they they kind of heard about you but they're not really interested they're they're just like they just follow maybe just to see what it is that you're doing but then as they get to prescribed into your content they get prescribed into what they're saying they may transition into the warm lead and the warm lead is the individual where they're like oh like you know i see you on a consistent basis i i'm loving your content and it's it's really speaking to me but i'm not ready to buy yet right i i like your concept but you're definitely like a thought that's coming into my head whenever i have these challenges come up right so warm lead is great because then they're going to transition to a hot lead a hot lead is that individual who say for example is really like you know i i love your content you're amazing like i'm a big fan of yours like it just it just resonates with me like mm. Like, it's just great and I really want to buy your service. Like, how do I get on a call with you? How do I start with you? Like, what do I need to do? Those are hot leads and they're the easiest individuals to transition and convert them into buyers, right? But there's this whole process on how do you do this? So how do you fast track that process from a cold lead to a hot lead? Well, the way that you go ahead and do it is that you start by having conversations. Why is that so important? Why am I stressing about conversations? Is because connection is currency let me say this again connection is currency so if you increase the connection with the individual that you are deciding to pursue then that builds the know like and trust factor that you want to really build rapport with with that individual right because now they're like okay I'm having a conversation with this individual i know who she is and i kind of know what she does right i kind of know that she's a business coach coach i like the fact that she's actually reaching out to me and talking to me to see an interest in me and see how i'm doing so do you see what i did there like you make it the conversation all about them and not about you right because honestly at the end of the day people love talking about themselves i know i love talking about myself so i can talk about myself <laughs> all day every day right 
But the thing is, when it comes to sales, when it comes to converting leads into buyers, it's not about you. It's not about the conversation that's centered on what you do, who you are. It's a conversation centered on that person that you are serving. What is it that they want? What is it that they need, right? So going back to the like, they're like, I like the fact that she's actually talking to me, that she's conversing with me, but more importantly, she's getting to know me, which is going to go to step three of that trust. Because now I know that I can trust her because she's listening. A lot of times the reason why people in sales miss their quotas or miss their targets is because they fail to listen to the individual. And I guarantee you, active listening is harder than just you spitting out words, right? Because now you actually have to take a step back and ask yourself, oh wow, it's not about me in this conversation, it's about them. So how can I bridge the gap to serve them in the conversation? Now, you can have a conversation with DMs, you can have a conversation with sales calls, you can have a conversation through email, right? There is multiple plenty of full ways of having a conversation but conversations are going to be the fastest way for you to do it so going back to that point of okay you did that initial outreach you did that initial outreach and you said hey so and so thank you so much for connecting with me just curious what led you to connect with me or how are you things of that nature the next thing that you can go ahead and do is say talk about a little bit about their journey what is it that they're up to what is it that they're doing right and try to keep it centered within your area of expertise right so if i'm an online business coach right what i may do is i may ask and say oh hey so you know i noticed that you're coaching this space as well and i'm just curious like how have things been in business for you so far like what has your journey been like as a coach and then you're just building that rapport with that person because now that individual feels like wow she's actually listening to me and in some ways you need like 100 you need to be listening to listening to that individual when you're having that conversation or say for example you are a life coach you're a mindset coach and you're really trying to figure out well like you know how do i keep this conversation centered on the topic that i'm expert in right so what if you're a life coach you can honestly ask like you know what new things have been having happening in your life so far or if you are a life coach that centers with individuals um that are moms you can say oh say hey so like you know i noticed that your mom in this space as well like how's the mom life like what have you been up to right so now you're actually navigating the conversation based on the expertise that you're talking about, based on the expertise that you can actually help an individual with, right? So at the end of the day, conversations are gonna lead you to the fastest way to get there because you are building rapport. And by building a rapport, you're building that know, the like, the trust, right? And this is only gonna further help you in the process when it comes to converting leads into buyers because why, why leave it to chance, right? Why leave it to chance to wait to have an individual reach out to you, right? I guarantee you it will eventually happen, but why leave it to chance? If you can create your own sales opportunities, if you can create the opportunities for individuals to buy, then why won't you do it, right? There's nothing wrong with going ahead and speaking out to them. And maybe you may be fearful of rejection. That is totally valid. But, you know, honestly, I would say being entrepreneur is testing your rejection, is testing your grit, it is testing your confidence, it is testing your leadership. But more importantly, being an entrepreneur is smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm and leaving a comment below. But at the end of the day, it doesn't take that much time to do it. But more importantly, conversations is what's going to lead you to converting into buyers so that you can go ahead and serve the individuals that you're wanting to serve especially if you're an online coach you started this online coaching business to do just that to serve more individuals to help them in the process but more importantly to listen to them especially if you're in coaching majority of it is listening active listening and serving them at the highest level right so that's all I have to say on, how, on the fastest way for you to convert leaders, uh, leads into buyers for you and your coaching business. And what you more importantly need to do is you need to smash the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the notification bell for our next video, and leave a comment below. And I would love to know what, how many conversations do you plan to start today. So leave that in the comment below and I'll see you on the next YouTube video.